Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll look at what amps or amperes are and understand how much electrical current one amp is. As always, I'll explain this in a very simple analogy to get a very conceptual understanding of the unit. So for this to be clear, let's go through a few basic easy things that are going to help us out. Number one, an amp is a measure of flow of electricity or electrical current. But how does the current flow? That takes us to number two. Current flows because electrons move in a circuit through a wire or a medium. For example, if you have a circuit and you connect it to a battery here, electrons start to move from the negative end of the battery through the wire to the positive end. When the electrons move, that causes an electrical current to flow through that wire. The more electrons that are flowing, the higher the current in amps. So the number of electrons that are moving is a key point for this explanation, so keep that in mind. Now going back to the first point, an amp is a measure of flow of electricity, meaning how much electrical current is going through, which depends on the number of the electrons moving. But how much of electrical current is one amp? Here is the definition. A current of 1 ampere is 6.24 times 10 to the 18th power electrons going past a given point in one second. So what does this mean? Consider this analogy. Imagine you have a counter in your hand and you are counting people boarding on a plane. Each one second, one person is allowed in and you click the counter which displays the number. After 10 seconds, the counter should have the number 10 for 10 people that went through. Using amps to measure current is kinda like that, except we look for the number of electrons through a certain point per one second. Look at the diagram here. Electrons will be moving through that wire. Let's put a screen that detects and shows us exactly how many electrons are passing through this specific point right here. And it shows us how many electrons are moving in one second. That is our counter from the analogy. After each second, it tells us exactly how many electrons were able to go through due to the current. So if, after one second, only 10 electrons went through, our detector screen displays 10 for 10 electrons. Now imagine that the current in the circuit, because of the battery, makes exactly 6.24 times 10 to the 18th power electrons pass through that point in one second. That right there is one amp. This number of electrons passing through the point in one second. So let's quickly recap. Current flows because electrons are moving. Current is measured in amps. 1 amp is when 6.24 times 10 to the 18th power electrons move through a point in one second. And that's it. To get a perspective of how much an amp is, take a look at this table. Thanks again for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed this and I really hope that makes it clear with this analogy. Subscribe to this channel and click the bell sign so that you don't miss the next videos that will be coming up. I've got a lot of exciting things to talk about and things that are very interesting. Thanks again for watching and see you next time.